Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is Great Days. Today's video is power outage, and I'm going to tell the story of my time during the power outage. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. It was February 15th, 2021, when I woke up to use the restroom, which, is, which was around 6 a.m., and there was no power, okay, and I knew that this was a possibility being that there was a harsh um, warning of weather coming and snow was coming the following few days so I put this off as something that was going to happen so it was 6 a.m. and I was using the restroom and uh, I would I just kind of put it to the back of my mind and then I went right back to bed I woke up at 8 30 so two hours later to make myself breakfast and it, it's so ironic to two hours later 8 30 on February 15th I go to make some breakfast I got a pot a small little pot and then I poured myself some beans some lentils actually to make myself a recipe and um, I was so ready for free I was so ready for breakfast and right as I go to turn the dial on the stove the lights just fall the lights literally just dove into a state of blackness of darkness of non-existence and this was the second time that the lights had went out in that in that day already because they went out somewhere around 3 3 a.m while we were sleeping and then again they came back on around seven and then around eight just as I was getting my breakfast ready they go out again and this annoyed me because I was so ready for my breakfast but um, yeah I ended up having some raw vegetables instead I made myself a nice salad um, a Buddha bowl basically or just a salad it was exquisite and I kind of just went about um, being cold because it was already reaching into at least 30 to 40 degrees which being a Texan I am not used to at all anything below 20 degrees is cold for me anything below 40 to 30 degrees is cold for me and it was already reaching there so I go to basically meditate with my blanket over me around me for a few hours and um, play some guitar and and um, write some now around 12 I believe which is four hours later the lights came back on and I was uh, actually pretty enthusiastic about this so that led me to believe that the lights would stay on because they were coming on and off periodically which was weird because if it was severe weather which it was snow However, we never even got 
an inch of snow, we got sleet or we got ice over. We got an ice over, not snow. So it, this led me to further believe that it's weird that they're periodically coming on and off. When in reality, if it was severe weather, it would have just kept them off and there would have been no fixing it. But it kind of makes sense also because if it was, um, if it was an ice over, then it could have just been, um, you know, the, the generators and whatnot holding the electricity just getting encapsulated with ice and leading to periodical shutdowns but yeah this was already um twice that it had shut down and it came back on at 12 it was 12 o'clock 12 p.m on february 15th and um when they came on I was already raring to go with with uh, what I was gonna eat because I needed to. Well, I didn't need to, but I I've been uh I've been eating twice a day and and I knew that if I missed the time slot, which was like two hours, that I would not get to eat a um, a heated meal. So I put some beans uh just as they turned on. And it even it even turned on while I was meditating because I was meditating all throughout this period. I probably got like 12 hours of meditation in um, throughout the 44, or maybe even more. Um, yeah, I put some beans just as they turned on, and I cooked them within um, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then just as I was stir frying some cabbage and other ingredients on the side. The lights go off again. So this time during my during my preparation and cooking of the meal, the lights went off, right? But at least I got those those black beans cooked efficiently and fully because I then made a black bean salad and this brightened me up a lot. Great it greatly enhanced my mood so I can take on the next few hours of um of no power, you know, and cold weather. So I go about eating my meal and the lights are off again and it's probably about one at this point. It's probably like 1.30. So they're only on again for another hour and this is the third time on February 15th that they had went off. And this time, They stayed off. Or, hold on, let me go back. They didn't turn on at 12. Not from 8 to 12. They turned on 8 to... Eight to like... Because I remember they turned off at 420 exactly. Or 427. They turned off at 427. So I was making this black bean salad at 427. Which means they were on for about two to three hours. Or an hour at least. So they probably came on about two o'clock somewhere. So eight. I think they came on at 12 to. They were off. From 8 to around 1. And then they turned on again from 1 to about 4. Something like this. They went on and off three times within the span of like 3 a.m. to 4 20 p.m. on February 15th and after they turned off four after they turned off at four o'clock they stayed off 
for a period of 44 hours, and I counted. Um, yeah, I basically, through this period, I went about meditating, like I said, 12 hours at least, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but around 12 hours, I was meditating a lot. Um, I was also sleeping, a g not too much, but I, I slept a good amount, more than I would usually sleep any other day. And uh, I was playing a lot of guitar, or a good amount of guitar. I was uh, writing a lot more. Like I said, I was I was literally just meditating. I didn't even go outside too much. It was just too cold. And during this time with no power, I was freezing. I was um, covering myself with a blanket and sitting on my couch and meditating the entire time. And my family left the first day that it got shut down. And they stayed somewhere, they stayed with uh, family members that had power. But I didn't want to go because um, they were feasting on, on meat and, and there, uh, there's just no room. So there was a lot of, of space being taken up at that location. So I decided just to stay and meditate all throughout this period and try to document. And uh, this is the outcome of that experience I'm able to tell it for you so I was meditating all throughout the 44 hours the first day was rough completely rough I remember 427 p.m. on February 16th I counted it as a day and I was already extremely bored but this is due to my excessive use of my technology and uh, other things but I just kept on writing some stuff down having new ideas creativity tuning into the universe of course um, trying to to decipher what was going on in the grid system and the different means of of inciting deliberately such a event for almost the entire state of Texas because the entire state of Texas is going through this exact experience but for even long, more elongated periods of time people are going through three to ten days of no light right now as I'm speaking they probably have no light and they don't even have water or food some people are dealing with no food and no water for days at a time and some people are dealing dealing with no power for days at a time through heavier snow. So, yeah, this is why we're expanding the consciousness and awareness or consciousness for people like this. They need to be brought into a state of comfort and bring that suffering to an end. Um got to show our people compassion so yeah after the first day I was already well aware that it could be two to three to even longer um, without power so this is where I really started meditating and I was just going almost the whole day meditating doing nothing else really and tuning into the universe and seeing what it was that was going on around me I was just tuning into what people were doing. Um, everybody around me had no power. There was only one person behind me that had a generator running and I could hear it all night. But that's pretty much it. So I remember going outside on the first night and I looked up at the stars and it was the most beautiful sight that I had ever one of the most beautiful sights that I had ever seen because there was no artificial lights and those who know artificial lights they they reflect upon the eyeball heavily in a artificial way which blinds you to the midnight sky and you're unable to see all these stars in their full shine so 
it being so dark, it was a blessing and a miracle to be able to come outside in the middle of the night and witness the night sky without any artificial light. It was amazing. Um, yeah, I ended up going to sleep that night and it's then became morning and um, my family basically came in and out of the house to get their food and I was already well prepared for it to be two days right when it hit 4 p.m. and I was just meditating hard but by 12 20 p.m. during a meditation the lights came on and I was happy. I didn't expect them to go back off because it was already too much of a period. But yeah, that's pretty much my experience. That was 44 hours without light plus the periods before it went out for the 44 hours. So two days in full, most definitely. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe right here. Hand turning like this video watch static electricity as tesla had and you have a great day